the younger generation in terms of uh, the gaming side. It's a natural progression for them to be uh, uh, to use it as a tool set that they're already comfortable with. So if we can build training tools or, or uh, applications that are more uh, engaging for them, it will be a, a, a better retention scenario for them to uh, learn the tasks at hand rather than traditional uh, PowerPoints or, or video. We're finding what we're doing is repurposing that data to then extend down into the safety side and the training side. So from a safety perspective, if we can use a piping plant that's been designed already in the engineering in 3D, the, the advantages of using whether it's immersive technology or interactive 3D is cost effective because it's repurposing the data that's already exists. The virtual reality system essentially is designed to trick your brain. And so the way it does that is with some uh, fancy technology. And there's three stages in a virtual reality simulation, just like in any video game. The first stage is tracking. So the user's input is recorded by the system. And then the second stage takes that tracking information and brings it to the rendering process. So the, in this case, the high performance graphics card takes your input information and brings in to the simulation, computes what it needs to display. And then of course, that's the third process itself, display. And we have here today two complementary systems. We have a head mounted display which you've seen goes on your head, sort of like a helmet. But we also have a 3D interaction wall. And so those are, I think, the two most promising display systems. You know, we've got a lot of, uh, of new people coming to the province and uh, you know, a lot of them come from other industries and maybe don't understand our, our business very well. So I think getting good training to those people is, is very important. You get involved and in, in some of the demonstrations we saw were very engaging where you, you actually see how things work. So, you know, some people can learn very easily by reading a book. I'm not one of those, those people. For me, to actually do something hands-on is very useful, but it's not very practical to take equipment apart all the time to learn. So if you could do this in an immersive environment to get your training, I think it would really speed things up and be far more cost-effective. Nangyunjipchojosip 唔該曬你